Hello, Slicey Dicers. This is Brian with another knife review for you. Today, we have the Wee Knives Deacon. This is one I was very excited to get my hands on, honestly, uh, of the a lot of all of the new Wee stuff that's coming out. This is one that really appealed to me visually, size-wise, in a whole lot of ways. And I have to say, it has not disappointed. This may be one I have to add to the collection, I really think. Not in this color. I will say right off the bat, it does come in lots of colors. This is from the Pass Around Group. Uh, thanks a lot to we to providing this to all of us, so that all of us, uh, all of us weirdos on the interwebs, can go out here and do our YouTube videos. We do very much appreciate it. Uh, this is the one they sent us. It is in the purple. It also comes in a gray, a blue, and in a uh, what was the other color? Oh, and then like a gold color. Uh, they all come with the blue screws, the blue hardware screws. Uh, we does that sometimes on some of their knives. They are fond of the blue screws. Um, honestly, if I was to buy one myself, I think I'd actually get the blue. I know you guys think I would get the gray, but the blue actually matches these blue screws perfectly, and it actually is very, very nice. I don't mind the purple even, honestly. The purple is fine. I am a purple fan. Uh, it's my favorite, as you can see in my logo. I love purple. It's one of my favorite colors. It's the purple with the blue screws that kind of that kind of gets to me. Uh, but the blue with the blue looks good. The gray with the blue looks good. The gold with the blue looks okay. Uh, this is definitely my least favorite color. But other than that, a gorgeous design. Just beautifully simple. I think is how I would describe this. This is not a collaboration. This is an in-house we design. But it's just it's just beautifully simple. It's just a, a really pretty looking knife. I like, I love the lanyard hole. How, how many times have you ever heard me say I like a lanyard hole? This is one of the few times I think a lanyard hole actually makes this knife look better. I'd never use it. I'd never use that lanyard hole. But I actually, I just like the way it's cut out. I think it looks great. Uh, the pocket clip works good on it. This, uh, that milled pocket clip works really well on this design. Just the one, the one screw holding it in. Everything is TA all the way throughout. Even the uh, lock bar inserts T8, which is pretty impressive. Titanium, gonna call it a frame lock. It's kind of a bolstery lock hybrid thing. They call it a f they call these faux bolsters, which is what they are because the liners do go all the way through. It's more just like a thin frame lock with carbon fiber overlays. M390 steel with a finish I really like that we does. It's a pot like a polished bead blast is what I always call it. It's the best way to describe it, and it's just. It's a really nice looking knife. Pretty reasonable in size. It is not a big knife at all. You're looking at a three and a quarter inch blade. Really great EDC size. It is not inexpensive. $253, but M390, titanium frame lock, Wii's awesome quality. None of us ever argue about that. We make some great stuff, and this is one of the, they just keep getting better. I, I, every one I review, I say this is the best one. They just keep getting better. And this is, it's just, it's just outstanding. And no no billboarding as we's fond to do. The, the jimping kind of doubles as a little bit of an, an homage to their logo. Their logo on the pivot on the show side. And then somewhere on the blade here it says M390. And yeah, there it is. You always got to look to find their steel markings. I don't think it's even going to come across in here. I assure you that right about there... Can we get it? Yeah, I think, there we go. Yeah, right about there, it says M390. I assure you it's there. <laughs> but, uh, um, yeah, just minimalist. And, and that used to not be a word you used to describe Wii's, but now that kind of is. A lot of their knives are very minimalist, especially as far as the logo and stuff. So some of the designs are a bit flashy, but the, as far as logoing and stuff like that, they're very minimalist. It's a very, very pretty knife, and that's not even my favorite thing about it. We will get to my favorite thing about it as we go. It's four minutes in, and I haven't even done like a uh, any stats or anything like that. So let me do that. Stats and size comparison time. We have an overall length of 7.35 inches, blade length of three and a quarter, as I said. A blade thickness, just a hair under 0 0.16 inches. A uh, handle thickness of 0 0.53 inches, and a weight pretty darn light. 2.75 ounces on my scale. Not bad at all. Well under three ounces. Again, just an awesome EDC size. Uh, let's do a few size comparisons. We will bring out some of the standards first. We'll put it in our usual Spyderco sandwich between the uh, Spyderco Paramilitary 2. It's obviously smaller than that. And the Spyderco Para 3. 
You can see about similar length to a pair of three. Definitely you're getting a little more cutting edge out of this. This is a much slimmer knife, obviously. Um, what else are we gonna do? We'll do a couple more of the standards. Then I'm gonna do some kind of unique ones that I don't usually do. I had a bunch of fairly unique knives out for another video, so they're gonna get in here. You have your Benchmade Griptilian. This is the full size version. If we had a smaller one, again, it would be kind of like the PM2 pair of three, be kind of between those. Uh, one of uh, Wii's own products, sort of, this is a VV, this is from their budget line. This is a VV Statera. Little shorter and little slimmer than that. Uh, a knife that I think uh, if I do buy one of these that it's going to be sharing some pocket time with would be uh, the Ferrum Forge Mass Drop Gent. A little bit longer than the Gent, but the same sort of slim profile. And uh, do I want to do another one here? Oh, I just have another three and a quarter inch blade one out here, so we will pull out the uh, Steel Wheel Lanner. Almost exactly the same length as that. We're going to do most of this with the knife held in my hand because uh, the nature of this pocket clip, it doesn't like to lie flat for my camera. It's shy. It shouldn't be because it's very pretty. Uh, we've already talked way too much about how it looks. It looks great uh, quality-wise. It's wee. It's fantastic. Blade centering's perfect. Uh, Lock-up, blade plate, non-existent. Uh, no voids in the carbon. It's, it's just great. Uh, the the hardware quality is outstanding. Again, it's blue. Wish it wasn't. Wish they just went with gray. But uh, e excellent, 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 excellent quality. Now, as far as this blade goes, it's one of the most important parts about a knife. Fairly thick blade stock. As I said, a little under 0 0.16 inches. I was a bit surprised by that because we is doing a lot more... Uh, Slicey, you know, they're really trying to make some really slicey blades. It is very thin behind the edge, though. Averages about 17 thousandths behind the edge. It does slice pretty well. And by the way, one thing I forgot to mention earlier, it does have a nice crown on top of the blade, which is, is really, really nice. Um, but you have a, a pretty good tip on it. It's a little dainty, but not too much. Perfectly fine, especially for the kind of things you're going to use a knife like this for. I think it's, it's perfectly adequate. It does slice well. Not great, but okay. Pretty decent sharpening trail on there, but they just missed it. I mean, just missed it. There's just a bit of a smile on the back edge there. Not anything I'd really freak out about, honestly. It's it's pretty okay. Um, I think the blade overall is pretty good. And as I said, this finish I found holds up really well. This kind of, I don't know what else to call it. Polished bee blast is what I'm going to call it until they, they correct me and give me another name for it. Um, as far as the ergonomics go, really 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 good uh you can't just barely feel this pocket clip maybe it could it could stand to be a bit shorter on a knife this light but it's not not a big deal i mean i know it's there but i'm it's way short of what i call a hot spot but it's got a nice palm swell fits well this jimping is it's not ornamental but it's close to it um i would kind of almost prefer it was up up farther on the blade because as you can see that's where my hand just wants to lie when i use this as my thumb just wants to lie right there. But yeah, you can't, the lock bar doesn't cause any hot spots or anything like that. Fits my hand well again. I've uh, large size hands, but fairly skinny fingers. And it fits perfect four finger grip. Ergonomics are, are pretty darn good on it. Uh, as far as the, uh, the carry goes, let me bring out ye old Wranglers. It doesn't carry super deep, but it's not bad. And again, if it didn't have a bright purple pocket clip, it wouldn't be, it would be a fairly discreet carry because mostly what's sticking out is carbon. But the uh, pocket clip on all of them does match the color of the knife. So if you get the blue one, you have a blue pocket clip, you know, or gray or the gold, whichever one you get. Um, I think it carries pretty well. Definitely easy to slide your hand past. It's a very slim knife. There is a bit of a flipper tab sticking out in there. You can feel it on your pinky. Uh, it's not horrible at all, though. Uh, there is some jimping on it, but it doesn't doesn't seem to bother me a whole lot. Um, not a big deal. Uh, now, here is my favorite thing about this knife is the deployment, though. Oh, my Lord, the action on this thing. As you can see, rockets right out. It's... It's about impossible to fail. 
this has been in the past round group. I'm not the first one to get it. Um, but uh, I don't know if anybody else took it apart. I don't think so. But man, light switch, push button, anything you want to do, it's going to open. And another nice thing about it, what I like about these kind of faux bolster locks, or maybe this is a real bolster lock, I'm not really certain which terminology, people use that term back and forth so much, uh, is that you don't have to worry about touching the lock bar and putting pressure on it, making it hard to open because you have that nice carbon fiber scale there. It's just, and look at this, this is a three and a quarter inch blade and I'm not shaking it, I'm just turning it, and it drops like that. And listen to that detail when it goes back in. Uh, it's just, it. it's great. You know, it's really hard to get a knife this small to be that drop shutty, because it's just physics, you know? It's just mass and inertia. It's easy to get a big, heavy blade to close super easy, but to get a fairly small blade like this, oh, it is so smooth, guys. It is just amazing. Obviously, ceramic ball bearing, ceramic detent. It's a Wii that kind of goes without saying, except for on some of their really budget stuff. Um, I love this thing. I really, really do. Uh, I really think I need to get one. Um, I just uh, had a little contest. Where I had you guys suggest which knife you wanted me to review next. And actually, this might have won it, but I knew I had it coming on the pass around group. Um, so I, I bought something else instead, but uh, I, I may have to may have to sell a couple of things and go out and get one of these. Uh, it's a really nice knife. It definitely is. Uh, we just, I know they come out with a lot and it's hard to keep up, uh, but this is the one that I was most eager to see. And I, I can't imagine any of the others impressing me more. It's just a wonderful knife. Again, just, just don't do, don't do blue, don't do blue screws. And it's nigh on perfect. Uh, I think it's well worth the 253 bucks. Uh, some people may disagree, but because some people think nothing is made worth 253, some people think nothing from China is worth 253. But trust me, it definitely feels like it's every bit of 253. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I've been Brian. Have a good one.